use the fact that one pound is equal to nine point uh, nine point six oh francs to work out how much forty five pence is in francs. I'm sure you're working. So if we have pounds and francs we set this up like a proportion problem, we know that one pound is the same as nine point six francs. Now we want to know what forty five pence in but we must put the units the same. Forty five pence is zero point four five pounds. So here we're writing 0 0.45. How do we go from 1? What do you have to multiply 1 by to get 0 0.45? And the answer is 0 0.45. And now because you've done it to that side, you need to do it to this side of the ratio. So we need to do 9.6 times 0 0.45, which gives me 4.32 francs. So 45 pence is equal to 4.32 francs at this particular exchange rate. Now use that 240 pesetas is equal to 1 pound to work out how much 408 pesetas is in pounds. I'll show you working. We'll do a similar sort of thing. This time we start with pesetas and then we have pounds. We know that 240 is equal to 1 pound. 240 is equal to 1 pound. And we want to know what 408 is. How do we go from 240 to 408? The thing is you need to multiply by 408 divided by 240. Now, you can actually simplify. If you put this in as a fraction on your calculator, using the fraction key, it will simplify down to 17 over 10. And because you've done it to this side of the ratio, you must also multiply this side of the ratio by 17 over 10. 1 times 17 over 10 is the same as 1 point times 1.7, which is 1.7. But we can't have 1.7 pounds, so we have to write it as 1.70. This zero is very, very important. So therefore, 408 pesetas is equal to one pound seventy.